Hello everybody, it's Wasan19, and welcome to the Beta Branch update for February 25th. So, unfortunately, this week we got a curveball thrown at us. We've been waiting two weeks for Terror World to finally say we are getting 172. They kept saying, no, not this week, not this week. And then, on Thursday, well, we'll go back to Wednesday, uh, notice on the Steam database that there was a test for the beta branch and the main branch. So, that got everybody's hearts pumping that we are going to get it on Thursday. Then some rumors started going around, Ananda, that we might not be getting the patch. And in fact, we got a hot fix. Tail World knew they were going to give us a hot fix, and they did not tell us. They didn't tell us we were getting 172. It's quite disappointing. The hot fix did cover quite a few things, which is nice, but that just tells you that they weren't ready for that hot fix, or I should say they weren't ready for that patch, but they didn't inform us. What that kind of comes down to is something that I'm going to lead into, and that is going to be some channel news. As far as the beta branch is concerned, we are still waiting on 172. When are we going to get it? I don't know. I mean, we could still technically get it on Friday. It's a possibility. They did it with 1.7 if they feel confident enough. But I, I would think next week would be probably um, a better opportunity to actually get 1.7.2. Going forward, uh, I'm kind of at a loss right now. I personally thought we were going to get 1.8 and they were going to continue to do 1.8 after full release. And once they figured the game was done, call it 2.0. But Really, it's just kind of guessing at this point. I, I don't know what they plan on doing, but I have been telling people to temper your expectations. We are only five weeks away from their quarter two 2022 time frame start release date. That means at any time we could be getting it. As far as the beta branch is concerned, that is what we have going forward. Now I would like to deal with some very big channel news. I want to first premise this by saying I will be playing Bannerlord. I'm going to be playing it in the near future. I will probably still be playing it years from now. Bannerlord is not going away. Also, with what I'm going to say, I will still be covering workshop and caravan videos going forward. So don't think that I'm not going to do those. I will continue to do them through beta i will continue to do them if they change patches through full release i will not stop doing those two videos regardless of what happens so with everything that's been going on with tail world and their reluctance to be forthright and upfront on what they're doing i can no longer depend on them to give us accurate information and if i can't get accurate information from them i cannot get accurate information to you there's no real reason to be exclusively covering the beta branch, especially with what we have going forward. So after talking to a few people, here's what I'm going to have going forward. I will now start modding. I will probably move back to 1.7. I'm not sure what I'm going to do about the campaigns. Anyone that has caught up, hopefully I'm not giving too much of a spoiler. The Storm Riders campaign appears to be very close to being done. Uh, what I'm going to do with one, with the death campaign, which is on 172, I could go back and forth re-downloading them. I don't really want to stop the death campaign. I know quite a few people like it. So that's probably what I'm going to do. What I'm looking at doing is falling back to 1.7 for the non-death campaigns, and I will start modding. I'm going to get some mods together that I really like. And I believe going forward, I'm going to start running some modded campaigns. I have talked about doing some challenges that people want to set up now that the Storm Riders campaign is finishing. So I'm going to also start look at doing those. 
I do want to highlight some mods that are out there that I think are going to be really good, or maybe the ones that aren't so good that you can stay away from. So there's going to be a mod day in which I'm going to go over a mod. It might be a quick two, three minute video on a small quality of life mod, or it could be an hour long run through a campaign of a high intense mod that's out there and to give you a nice edited hour content to see how does this mod work? How does it react? And how good is it going to be for a long playthrough? I will also be looking at starting the live stream very soon. And by very soon, I mean within about a week or so. Now, starting next week, I am going to start to get some ideas as to what the live stream is going to be. Because I figure it's about time to start getting that going. And I think I can reasonably work it out to where I'm going to do it two days a week, most likely Monday, Friday, starting at, uh, I believe, 1 p.m. Eastern GMT minus 5. I will be putting up one final poll to determine if it's going to be two hours or three hours long. That's what I'm going to look at doing. That will probably start next week. I want, as far as getting all the information together and deciding how long and then what exactly it's going to entail. So look for that to start up. Also, the other thing that I have been looking at doing is going on and playing other types of content or games. This, I'm going to start trying to get suggestions from you guys in what you might like to see. And therefore, if it's really my taste, then we can go ahead and incorporate that into the channel as well. And that is why I wanted to mention that I'm not going to stop playing Bannerlord. Just because I might try a couple games doesn't mean Bannerlord's going away. It's not going to go away for a very long time. So don't worry about losing Bannerlord. That's not what this is about. This is about extending things out, incorporating more things, bringing a little bit different to the channel, try to broaden the horizons instead of being the same thing every day, hour-long, unmodded, beta branch campaigns covering the beta branch. We're getting time to full release. It's time to start broadening things out, looking at some new things. Feel free to give me ideas on what you would like to see. You can do it in the comments, or a really good way is to go ahead and put it in Discord. I'm going to make a channel just for suggested games. Go in there, give me your suggestions, because ultimately that's what it's going to come down to, is the suggestions that you guys give me. There will be more information to follow coming up very soon. This video has gone on way long, too long, and I think that's about it for now. I will talk to you guys again very soon. As always, take care and thanks for watching.